Meanwhile, old man winter was striking again, blasting nearly half the country with another major storm, this time leaving hundreds of thousands without power in the northeast and up to 15 inches of snow or a thick coat of ice from the Plain States all the way into New England. And more proof that all this wicked weather is having a big impact on the economy. Payroll firm ADP said that private companies hired 175,000 workers in January. That was less than expected. And the firm blamed the dip on snowstorms and extreme cold weather. So just how much is the winter chill cooling U.S. economic growth? Steve Leisman takes a look tonight. It's been one of the colder and snowier winters for big swaths of the country, and that means a potential big impact on the nation's economy. Winter, of course, is expected to be cold and snowy, but this year the numbers relative to normal have come in much higher in the case of snow and much lower in the case of temperatures. Retail is going to be impacting because there's going to be fewer people actually out and about and spending money. Um, it impacts the restaurant industry, fewer people out and shopping. Uh, people basically are frozen in place, so they're, they're home, they're not going out, they're not spending money, and it just has an overall blanket on the economy. And what a blanket it's been. Chicago's 58 inches so far puts the Windy City on track for the fourth snowiest on record. New York headed for a top 10 snow year, and Detroit's 39 inches in January alone is a new record. Meanwhile, some parts of the country have been colder than normal, and other parts much colder, especially in places where lots of people live. That means big effects in retail, especially autos and housing. That's not to mention tens of thousands of canceled flights. And with today's ice storms, power outages too. Big heating bills leaves less money left over for other purchases for consumers. But there can be an upside. Because of the fact that it's been so cold and we've had this sort of dampering effect on consumer demand, that when you overlay that pent-up demand with the easy comparison to last year, it actually bodes pretty well for the retail economy when we move into March and April. Some economists are marking down their forecasts right now by as much as half a point because of the weather. But those forecasts could heat up in a few months with the spring thaw, if the spring ever comes. For Nightly Business Report, Steve Leisman.